Hi, and welcome to this working from home standing workout. So I've got nothing fancy with me today. I've got my laptop and I've got it stacked up on a load of books here just so that I can work whilst I'm standing. And then whilst I'm standing, I'm gonna perform some really simple exercises to keep the blood flowing, to make sure that your brain is full of oxygen and to alleviate any tension and any tight spots that you may have. So follow me along today and I really hope you enjoy this workout. Okay, so we're gonna start with some neck rolls just to get that neck nice and mobilized. So I'm gonna work on getting my chin over to my shoulder here. And again on the other side, I'm gonna work for about three on each side. You can do some more if you want to. So just looking over my shoulder, keeping my eye gaze focused up. So I'm not looking down. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure that when I'm standing, I'm standing with my feet around about hip distance apart and I've got my heels pushed into the ground. I'm gonna grip into my tummy muscles. So I'm gonna think about gripping in round the sides and then in through my belly button and out of my back. So I'm gonna know that I'm standing up nice and strong and straight with my shoulders relaxed. The next exercise we're gonna do is an overhead pendulum. So the arms come up over the head and we're gonna tilt down to the side and push down to the other side. So we're just holding for a couple of seconds here. And my eye gaze is facing forwards, I'm not looking down, and I'm also not bending in front. So I'm making sure that I'm bending down towards the line of my leg here. So working on again, three to five on each side, making sure that you're breathing normally. Okay, and not going past the point where you are comfortable. Next exercise, again, we're gonna work through those sides, feet slightly wider now, round about shoulder width apart, and then we're gonna bend down to the side and down to the other side. So making sure that again, I'm following the side of my leg, not going in front, not going behind, working through. You can go as wide as you like on these here. If you wanna work through a little bit more range, you can go really nice and wide, come down through the side down through the other side. Good. One more on each side. Great, so we're gonna work through a standing back extension next. So I'm gonna work with my hands on my hips, but you don't have to. And I'm gonna just work on push, push my pelvis forwards and bring my head back. I'm gonna make sure I'm breathing all the way through. Coming back up to stand. Holding in tight to those tummy muscles, taking a couple of breaths, and then I'm gonna go again. Push the breath out, just get a nice good stretch through that back, let the head come back. Making sure I'm centered again, and then let's go again. Pushing through that lower spine, Well done, okay. Next exercise we're gonna do is we're gonna do some alternate calf raises. So I'm just going to come up onto my tiptoes on one side and then on the other side. So I'm just turning over and over here. So I'm working on making sure that those heels are coming up. So I'm distributing my weight over and over. And this is a really good one to do at any point, just making sure that you can get that blood flowing through the legs. So again, really making sure that I've got my tummy pulled in nice and tight, my shoulders are relaxed, and my chin's away from chest. Well done. And if that feels almost too much for you already, then you can stop. You can do any of these exercises for as long as you want. Okay, so just do the ones that you want to do. You can just do a few at a time, just throughout your day. Next exercise we're gonna do is we're gonna do a tip forward. So I'm just gonna take a little step back. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push my bottom back and keep my back really nice and straight. And I'm just gonna tip forwards. So I'm gonna feel that in the back of my legs. And you can tip down as far as you want to. Okay, you do not have to just, you can just tip to here. If you feel that in the back of the legs, then just tip to there. Otherwise you can go all the way forwards if you're really flexible. Just making sure that back stays really nice and straight. Good. I'm gonna do one more here. Tipping forwards. Good, okay. I'm gonna take my hands, I'm just gonna 
shake hands with myself. I'm not going to interlace the fingers and I'm just going to stretch my arms forwards. So I'm just going to work into that upper back here. Again, holding in tight to my tummy muscles, making sure that I'm not pushing my head forwards. So my chin's away from chest there. My ears are in line with shoulders and I'm going to work through the opposite as well. So I'm going to work in front and I'm going to work behind. I'm going to go for two of each of these. Again, you can do as many of these as you want to do. Just find the exercises that you like that relieve the tension for you. Good. And hold for as long as you like. You can hold these stretches for up to 30 to 60 seconds if you want to, if you really want to work on that flexibility. Otherwise, anywhere up to 8 to 10 seconds is also going to be really, really good. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a standing knee pull-in. So if your balance is not great, don't worry, you've got your desk to hold on to. Otherwise, foot firmly planted into the floor, heel pushed in, tummy nice and tight, and then just grip just below the knee, pulling in, keep those shoulders rolled back. So we're not pulling in and rounding out, pulling in, keeping those shoulders back. Good. And again, hold for as long as you want to. If you're a little unstable, you can hold onto your desk. And I'm going to go on the other side to make sure that footing is correct. Pushing in through the heel, pushing in through the toes and engaging that core. Really, really important. Good. So again, making sure the shoulders are relaxed. One more on each side. Pull it in. Good. If you're wobbling about all over the place, don't worry. Don't worry at all. Just hold on to something. Make sure that you are stable. These things come with time. Good. So pulling in. Make sure the shoulders are pushed push back. Chest is out. Well done. And rest. Okay. I'm going to use my chair for this next exercise. I'm just going to pull it up behind me slightly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sit right onto the edge of the chair and as I'm doing that I'm going to bring my arms forwards so I'm just going to sit to the edge of my chair and then as I come up I'm going to bring my arms up so sitting just to the edge of my chair and pushing up down and up now I'm making sure that I'm really sitting back onto that chair pushing through the heels push and up Good. Just going to do a couple more here. It's a really good way to get the blood flowing through your body. Get your mind focused. And the last exercise we're going to do is a standing twist. So I'm just going to pull my chair back slightly just to make sure I've got enough space. Hands come out in front, feet facing forwards. And what I really want you to do for this one is try and keep those hips facing forwards as well. Now you're not going to be able to keep them completely still, but if you try and keep them facing forwards, you're really going to notice the difference in the muscle activation here. So arms come ahead and we're going to go over and over. So pushing over, really working on that twist, keeping the chin away from chest, making sure that I'm not hunching forwards, I'm not hunching, I'm not rounding out through the shoulders. So twist and twist. Are you holding into those hips? Nice and strong and straight. Good. And rest. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for taking the time to be with me today. If you like this video, then please do check out my other videos. Uh, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you very soon. Bye.